Hello, this is Wield and Well Armed. Uh, today we're going to cover a CZ2075. Uh, this is the full compact steel framed uh, pistol made by CZ. Uh, this is a incredible light small gun, not as light as some polymer guns, but pretty light for CZ standards. Uh, we're going to do a full desktop review. Uh, everything's pretty much original. Uh, I did put some wooden grips on this. Uh, I do carry this uh, with uh, extended mag. Uh, that's what came with it. And I uh, really enjoy shooting this gun. It's, it's very accurate. It doesn't feel like a small gun. It feels like a full-size gun, and, and the groupings are just as good as a full-size gun. Um, it's not true with the smaller magazine. Um, it, it, it doesn't shoot as well. Uh, so I, I only shoot it with the full-size uh, Rami a magazine and, and this is by definition the Rami who was named the, the first name of one of the founders of CZ. Uh, anyway, please uh, stick with me. Uh, if you would like to see more videos on comparisons of any of my CZs, uh, let me know down below. Uh, please feel free to comment uh, and like, share, subscribe. Uh, that'd be great to help me out on the new channel. Uh, we've only been around a month and uh, you know we're trying to get things going. Hello, here we are for the tabletop. This is the CZ2075D. Um, this is the decocker version, which is a little bit more difficult to find. And uh, this is the Rami. This is my only decocker. Um, basically, um, you can see the uh, wooden grips are, are extra. Uh, this came with the both the smaller magazine and the larger magazine. Uh, I only like the uh, smaller, the larger magazine. Um, the, the grip, uh, I just don't like that feeling of uh, a two-finger grip. Uh, so we'll, we'll clear this. Look down the chamber, nothing there. Completely open. So when we're looking at this, uh, we want to look at the trigger, see if it's as good a trigger as the other CZs that are in the lineup, and I think you'll be happy. Uh, so you can see that this is a decocker. So, but anyway, we're, we'll put it in full. I'll give it a couple trigger pulls, and then we'll put it on the Lyman trigger gauge. So, here we go. First pull. You can see the uptake is a good quarter of an inch. Hits the wall. A little bit of creep. A little more creep, and bam. Now we'll show the reset. Off. Releasing, releasing. About a quarter of an inch or more. All right, we'll put it on the Lyman trigger gate. We'll do five pulls. Boom, clear. Ready. Four pounds, two ounces. Three pounds, seven ounces. Three pounds, 11 ounces. Three pounds, five ounces. Three pounds, ten ounces. Three pounds, eight ounces. Average, three pounds, ten ounces. So, pretty good trigger for a carry gun and a nice trigger weight. Definitely has a nice feel to it. Small, nice, easy to holster. Uh, I wish there was a little bit smaller grip than this, but, uh, with that, you get the full purchase, full finger is there. Uh, very happy with the way this feels and, and looks. Uh, I did color feel that uh, on that side. Uh, anyway, this is a great pistol to shoot. Uh, fun, accurate, and a good carry pistol. So let's look at the weight with the magazine in. 25.6 ounces, and that is 726 grams. Again, 26, 25.6 ounces. That's a nice low carry weight. We're going to cover the, uh, so it does have rear serrations. It does have a, a good rear sight. Uh, the front sight is a white dot. Uh, looks like it is a trigicon. Uh, it does show up well. Um, it, uh, it does eject freely. Um, the Nothing, nothing really. The, the trigger is pretty normal. 
Uh, but, you know, we just looked at that. And uh, anyway, if you have any questions, please fill out the comment form um, below, and uh, I'd love to answer these. If you'd like to see a comparison with this and any other pistol, I'll be glad to do that. And uh, this is Will Well Armed. Please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, let's grow this channel a little bit. And uh, have a great day. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.